Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is WWE Pay-Per-View Elimination Chamber Match Predictions and also I'll be revealing what new series will be coming this Sunday or, th or this Saturday, I'm sorry, which is the 7th of March. It will be starting and I'm super excited to announce that for you guys, but that will be at the end of this episode, but um... Let's go ahead and get into the match predictions for the upcoming Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. And so, the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view matches are probably not going to be in order. But here we go. We have Andrade Cien Almas defending the United States Championship in a singles match against Humberto Carrillo. Honestly... I just really not invested in them as much as I used to be, but if I had to choose, I guess I would go for Humberto. Then we have Aleister Black versus AJ Styles in a no disqualification match. I'm going for Aleister Black, even though I am an AJ Styles fan as well. Then we have the Street Profits defending their newly won Raw Tag Team Championships against Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy. I'm going for Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy in this case. Um, no disrespect to the Street Profits. I just, like, when they moved up to the main roster, they just really didn't have the same feel for me. I don't know what it is. Then we have Braun Strowman defending the Intercontinental Championship in a handicap match against Cesaro, Sami Zayn, and Nakamura. I think, in a way, this benefits Cesaro and him because they have a handicap match. Advantage over Braun. Braun's not a normal human being either. But I'm going for Braun and M. Or Braun, but I don't know. Who's going to win this one? Who's going to walk away? But I'm going for Braun Strowman. Then we have the SmackDown Tag Team Title Match, which is in a six tag team elimination chamber match. Which The Miz and John Morrison are going to be defending their tag team titles against The New Day. The Usos, Heavy Machinery, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, and Lucha House Party. So, who I'm going for in this match, honestly, I wouldn't mind if The Miz and John Morrison kept it. New Day had their chances for a while, and so did The Usos. I think it's more time for others to have the belts. So, I'm going to go with The Miz and John Morrison. My second choice would be uh, Heavy Machinery. I don't really want Dolph and Robert to win it, though, because, I don't know, I just don't, I don't like them as a tag team. And then Lucha House Party, uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but I don't see them winning it. But I, w I really want either Heavy Machinery or Miz and Morrison to win. Then we have the six-woman Elimination Chamber match, where the winner will face Becky Lynch. At WrestleMania for the Raw Women's Championship, which will consist of Shayna Baszler, Asuka, Liv Morgan, Natalia, Sarah Logan, and Ruby Riot. Honestly, I more so already think I know who's going to win this match, I, but I'm going to go down the line anyways. I wouldn't mind Liv, Natalia, Sarah Logan, Ruby, Shayna, or Asuka. Honestly, I really wouldn't mind any of these women winning. In a way, though, I wouldn't like Asuka to win just because she had her opportunities against Becky. So I'm going to go with any of the other ones besides Asuka, even though I am a fan of Asuka's as well. But I, I think she had her opportunities. Let someone else have it. But in addition to that, I also think that who I, I know who's going to win this more so because of the storyline that they already have between Becky and her and that Shayna Baszler. I honestly think they already have it pretty much wrote in that Shayna's going to pick up the win. I mean, I could obviously be wrong, but I think that's the case. And that's all the matches they have announced so far for the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Now let's go ahead and move on over to the new series that will be starting on March 7th. And we actually have a special letter that was handwritten by... One of the people that will be taking part of the series. So let's go ahead and get to that. The letter 
reads, and I quote, Things are gone that are gone or forgotten are not gone or forgotten. For they are led into the multiverse by others that had less knowledge than them. Sister Abigail, no, I seen her not interested. The broken or woken warriors, I've seen them, cool guys, but not interested. My true heart and soul will rise once again. Some may know me, some may not, but I do what I want. I will not dare be forgotten, and I shall rise again, as I am the Alpha, I am the leader, I am the one to judge. Hellhound. Which means that, yes, if you guys haven't put two and two together, Hellhound is actually Little Wolf, but Little Wolf's more darker version. Um, and I had Little Wolf Rises, but Hellhound is returning. Those of you on Facebook might know who Hellhound is. Because of his time in the past with his series that were Facebook exclusive. But now this will be on YouTube and Facebook. And it will be known as Dog Pound Rises. And that will be starting on March 7th. And who will they target? We will have to wait and see who will go after who. We all know that if you are on Facebook exclusive and you watched Rise of the Dog Pound or Return of the Dog Pound. The Dog Pound Ran rough shot over WWE over the years, and now we're gonna have a new generation in a sense. So, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I hope you guys are excited about the new series as much as I am. And I hope you guys are excited about Elimination Chamber. Peace.